hi yeah so I'm gonna do a review for you today and this is one where I'm gonna wear the fragrance throughout the day and let you know how I feel about it and how it smells and all that stuff it's called Baccio di Velluto now I'm not sure if it's Baccio or Bacchio it's Italian name and I'll tell you what it means a little bit later this is by an indie perfumer Catherine Rowan and I think she's made it for a company called Velvet, which is a cosmetic company. And I've already sprayed it on. And I love it. I really, really love it. So we got the opportunity to sample it. A few people in a fragrance group that I'm in were allowed to sample the fragrance before Catherine was ready to put it out there. There was only a little sample and we were sharing it amongst a few of us. So I only really wore it twice and very lightly. I really loved it from the moment I put it on. This is definitely a fragrance that comes across as feminine. It's got like an old school vintage perfume smell to it. Not that it smells old fashioned, but if you were to imagine Guerlain's Le Bleu and imagine the marketing team said, right, we're going to release a flanker and it is going to appeal to a younger generation. It's almost like you would expect that to turn out. It is just beautiful, very feminine, soft, kind of, it's a bit sweet, it's a bit gourmand, and very, very ladylike. But that's what I'm gonna give you for now. I'm just gonna let you know straight away that I do really love this one. I got the, after the sampling, I bought the 10 mil decan. Um, I, as you can see, I have worn it a few times. So let's take you through the day with it and we'll see how, how it goes. Catch you all in a bit. Hi, yeah, so just a quick update on my fragrance. So I found out what it's called, or what it means, in fact, in Italian. It just means velvet kiss, which is lovely, don't you think? Um, so I'm a bit out of breath. I've been on my walk and I'm walking fast because it's bloody cold and I need to keep warm. So updates, we are at lunchtime now. It's about half past one and the fragrance definitely gets a lot closer to the skin about an hour to an hour and a half in. But you still get wafts, gentle wafts will come up. I did put some on my scarf and um, on my walk just now I was getting light gentle wafts of the sort of floral, slightly powdery, vanillic sweetness. And I would say it's not what you expect from the notes. So I'm gonna pop the notes up on the screen now for you. And you may look at those and think, ah, oh, that could be a bit generic, a little bit mass market. Don't think that. This could be a release by a house like Dior, Guerlain or Yves Saint Laurent. It is that good, it really does smell that good and it definitely smells feminine and classy and sophisticated but somehow manages to remain different in its own way. It is a unique fragrance, it's not something that you smell every day on other people yet it is definitely mass appealing. People will like it when they smell it on you. So to me trying to kind of explain how it smells really. There is a Lang Ylang in there and I think I do pick that up and the powderiness that can come with a Lang Ylang. And I definitely get a lot of vanilla. The vanilla gets stronger and stronger as the day wears on, which I enjoy. And it's not a foodie vanilla. It doesn't smell like the vanilla flavoring to make frosting for cupcakes. It smells like a classy, understated, expensive vanilla that has been created maybe extracted from orchids or I don't even know anything about vanilla really but it really does smell classy and sophisticated and special so I'm gonna leave it there for now and get back to hopefully some hot soup in the canteen and I'll catch you at the end of the day hi yeah so just a final update today on What's it called again? Volute. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm wearing. So a final update today. I finished work at 4 p.m. So after I spoke to you last, I 
worked for a few more hours and I was still getting soft wafts from the fragrance. Not very strong, but definitely still noticeable. Noticeable enough for me to say that you do get a full day's work out of it. But uh, then I met friends after work who walked around Christmas market and had just had some dinner and I definitely needed to reapply. So I reapplied before I met them and that was around, well, I left work at four. So I did reapply just because I wanted to have a stronger projection. So in terms of performance, I would say it's good. You definitely get longevity from my previous tests on my skin. The um, the skin is de <laughs> the skin. The perfume is definitely still there. A good eight to ten hours in, but it is a much softer projection than maybe some of my other perfumes. So that's not such a bad thing. I really love it. It definitely feels a little bit gourmand to me. It reminds me of those um, lovely French pastries, you know, with that delicate custard. Um, like a, a vanilla custard that's maybe got just a touch of spices that have been infused in it. So maybe like a touch of nutmeg or cardamom, something like that. Definitely get a feel for a French pastry, but also it's definitely a perfume, not an interpretation of a dessert, if that makes sense. It's quite a light and translucent fragrance, which is how I really love my fragrances to be. I don't like anything that's very thick and heavy most of the time. I do like it to, I like it when you smell, when you suck the air into your nostrils, you can smell air and perfume at the same time. I actually prefer that to smelling thick perfume and not much air, if that makes any sense. I'm gonna come back with a little bit more info on this one, but that's all for now. I'm going to bed early because tomorrow I'm going to Bruges and I have to be at work to be collected by the bus. Um, here comes sweetie. Have to be at work <laughs> um, at 5.45. So it's not quite, it's just coming up to 9 p.m. now and I'm going to bed so that I can be up in time for a shower and stuff before I go and get picked up. So I will come back with a little bit more on this fragrance a little bit later on. But for now, that's it. See you tomorrow. Hi, yet yeah. so final update on this fragrance. So this is Baccio du Velluto, and I was gonna just give you a little bit more information. So the perfume is Catherine Rowan, as I said before, but the company is actually called Brigantia Perfumes, and I'll link the website in the description box if you're interested in purchasing. She does do samples, uh, decant this size 30 mil and 50 mil and the price is very reasonable I think the 50 mil is 70 pounds and the 30 mil is 45 I think for a quality niche fragrance it is a good price I really really like it I'm hoping for a small bottle in my stocking off of Santa Claus himself if I'm lucky at Christmas I really really love it in a nutshell, what you've got is a fragrance that, I've just got some on my hand, a fragrance that opens up floral without being too floral. I don't like fragrances that smell like a bouquet of a million different flowers. I'm not a fan um, of ridiculously floral fragrances. I'm not a big fan of heady, sort of tuberous, um, lilies, there's a lot of florals I'm not actually a fan of. I do like Ylang Ylang, I do like Jasmine, and I love Gardenia. Just to give you an idea of what I like, so you can figure out whether you'll like this really. And I enjoy Rose and I enjoy Violet. But I like my florals to be balanced out with other stuff. If it's too floral, it interprets in my mind as being old fashioned or smelling like hand creams that are favoured by the elderly but this absolutely does not do that it smells really lovely I said before uh, think Le Bleu but a modern interpretation and I stand by that it has this kind of French patisserie feel so you've got florals but you've also got a touch of gourmand vanillic sweetness in there but it's not too sweet either it is just absolutely beautiful i really really love it i recommend you try it if it sounds like it could be up your street 
Um, and I think I have to show you my cat who's cleaning herself just there. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Poor little cat. Um, so yeah, that's it. I do really, really like that one. Thank you for watching. See you later.